guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my winter makeup routine. Basically the makeup that I wear when I am going somewhere. Um, this is my go-to look. And I'm going to be using a lot of new products. So I hope that you guys enjoy that. Also, I'm going to be wearing this wig. <laughs> And this is um, my wig. This is my Victoria Bob that I created last year um, from my first wig. And it is a little different because this one's the silky texture. The first time I wore my wig, it was in the Yaki. But this is the silky texture. I like the silky a lot more. I have my lips moisturized. I'm going to prime my face. I like to make sure that my face is very moisturized and hydrated first before I do anything else. I'm just going to use my um, Priming Moisturizer by Glossier. You can use whatever primer you want. My winter routine might be a little different from somebody's, from somebody else's who lives in a warmer climate. Of course, I live in the North Pole. I have to deal with a lot harsher weather conditions than you guys do. I'm going to use the Pores No More by Dr. Brandt. Um, because I don't reach for this one enough. It's really expensive. You can get a, one that's a lot cheaper. The Benefit Professional works just as well to me. Um, so, and that's a little cheaper than this one is. So you might want to go for that one. But I bought this so I have to use it. Okay. I'm going to be using Neutrogena Foundation. Which the shade matching is the hardest part of picking a foundation at the drugstore. One, because you can't try it on in the store. And two, because... There's not really a large selection of shades available. A lot of times it's easier for me to go to a Sephora or a MAC or a Ulta to get a foundation because you can actually try the foundations on. Somebody can help you pick out your shade. You can test different ones, samples, etc, etc. When it comes to drugstore foundations, it's a little bit more difficult, but it's still doable. I had to go to uh, Neutrogena's website and do their shade matcher quiz. There's like a whole survey you can take and it'll tell you what shade will be best for you. And my results were that I needed to use the Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup and in the color Cocoa 115. Neutrogena just recently extended their shade range for their foundations. Before, I never used Neutrogena because of the lack of shade range. I've never really seen a foundation that stood out to me that was like, that's gonna match me, you know? When I saw that they did have more shades to choose from, it made me a little bit happy because it's like, okay, brands are starting to realize that different people of different shades wear their foundations. They have a lot of new shades that are going to fit darker skin tones a little bit better than the ones they had previously. So I am grateful for that. There are a lot of different undertones and a lot of different shades in darker skin. I really do hope that in the future they come out with even more shades to ac accommodate even more people. This is the, like I said, it's the Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. It contains SPF 20 in it. It has antioxidants. That'll keep your skin nice and healthy, you know what I'm saying? And I don't, I don't necessarily go for foundations that are like mattifying all the time. I mean, I love a good mattifying foundation. Don't get me wrong. I love a good mattifying foundation just as much as the next girl. Wintertime is like really brutal and mattifying my face is the least of my worries. Like, I'm just trying to make sure that I make it. I'm gonna paint this on. With liquid foundations, I try to paint it on first and then blend it out. So I hope that you guys had a very safe and happy new year, holidays, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. I had a really good holiday. Um, of course, you guys know I go visit my family and it's my birthday weekend. Uh, I'm not done celebrating my birthday though, so stay tuned because I am still gonna keep slaying. I'm gonna use a brush to blend this out because I don't want to shear this foundation out. This foundation's not a full, full coverage. I try to like buff it out with a brush instead of using a beauty blender. I feel like a beauty blender will soak up a little bit too much product and shear out the foundation. I, like I said, I like this foundation. It's not mattifying, it's not oily. It's like a good healthy balance of dewy and matte. Super nice foundation, feels very nice on the skin. It's very breathable um, and it's not too heavy so it's perfect for every day, like I said. And for the winter time, I need a foundation like that. So for my concealer, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And this is like one of my favorite concealers of all time. I really, really like it because it just really hydrates underneath the eyes. It keeps my under eyes like plump. But I've been trying Tarte Tape Shape Concealer and oh my goodness, I'm gonna show you guys. It's amazing, but it's a little bit too light for me so I have to mix it. This tape shape though, it, it just, it doesn't move. It like sets really well. So like if you're gonna be like doing something all day and you don't want your, um, concealer to move 
you should get this concealer. And I'm gonna blend that out with a brush. Like I said, this tape shape is just bomb. You should try it. You should definitely try it. I'm probably gonna go get a shade darker than this. I think I'm gonna need medium tan. This is tan, yeah. I'll probably need medium tan, but I love it so much that I still wear it anyway. <laughs> I just make sure to powder really good over top with like a powder that matches my skin tone. Now that I'm looking pale and ghostly, we're gonna uh we're gonna set all of that. Um and I like going in with the pressed powder first before I set with the loose powder because I feel like that just works better for me in my opinion I just I like the way that it looks when I do it that way press powder that I like to use I like to use max studio fix powder and then I'm gonna go back and set my under eyes with the loose powder just to get some added setting so the powder that I've been using as of recent is the cover effects perfect setting powder so I'm gonna take that on a setting brush this is a real techniques setting brush and I'm just gonna press that underneath my eyes. It's soft and velvety. It's not like chalky and it doesn't give me flashback. So you guys, I feel weird wearing a wig. Very Vicky Logan circa 2014. <laughs> if you touch your face and you feel it and it's not like sticky or wet, that's how you know you set your face good girl. But we're not done yet. This is my Makeup Forever Pro Finish. It's my favorite powder of all time. I love this powder. This is the powder that I reach for the most. I'm going to use my Click Stick by CoverFX that I'm almost out of and I'm going to just give myself a little bit of chisel. I'm also going to take it on my forehead. I don't really need it on this side because my bang is down but we're going to put it there anyway. I'm just going to blend that out. Blend that into my hairline. And I'm also going to blend it a little bit down my nose area. And to set that contour I'm gonna use my bronzer and I've been using this new bronzer by Too Faced and this is the chocolate dark chocolate Soleil I like this bronzer I feel like it's good for my skin complexion because it's not too dark and it gives me just enough amount of bronze you know just give me enough bronze to like warm my face up kind of blend out those lines a little bit and down my nose and over my eyes too. I don't really like to wear eyeshadow a lot so I usually just put bronzer all over my eyes. You guys know I'm not an eyeshadow person. Eyebrows! Oh my god! I almost forgot to do my eyebrows. Um, favorite eyebrow print, a favorite eyebrow, eyebrow pencil. The Benefit Precisely My Brow. You can use whatever brow pencil you like but I love this brow pencil. Lightly fill in any areas that need to be filled in. I have a brow tutorial if you guys want to watch that. It kind of like speed this process along so I'm gonna speed through this so you guys can check that out if you want to see how I get my brows looking fleeky. I like to just add a touch of color so I'm gonna use Covet by Makeup Geek one of my favorite blushes currently. My favorite highlighter at the moment which of course is none other than LeBron's by Artist Couture. This is a gorgeous highlighter. Oh my goodness. Mama Jackie did this. I don't care what anybody says. It's a beautiful. I just got this new brush from Sephora and it's called the Featherweight, something like that. The Featherweight, something. It's really nice. It's really, really soft and I love it for highlighting because I feel like it really like just blends out that product so beautifully. Blend it backwards from my cheek to my cheekbone. And it's just a beautiful rose gold. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh. Jesus! I feel like it's just so luxurious. Now on this side of my face I've got some breakouts going on because travel probs. You guys know when I travel I break out like crazy. Especially when I go from like warm weather to cold weather it was just not working out for my face. So this side of my face is all broken out but we're still gonna highlight because I really don't care. The devil ain't gonna hold me back not in 2017 okay. I love this. I love this highlighter. It's just so pretty. And in the wintertime, my face is just a little bit dull. So I feel like I got to overdo it with the highlighter a little bit. Just look at that. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. Now, if you want to be super fancy, you can add a little bit more highlight. And guess who's super fancy? I'm going to add a little bit of Laura Geller Gilded Honey on top of that. Gorgeous highlighter. And I'm just going to put that over top. So I'm going to blend that on the back parts of my cheekbones just to add a little bit of shine back there and a little bit on my nose too so I'm gonna add a little bit of that to my inner corner as well just to give my inner corner some pop make sure your eyes look a little bit brighter 
I never used to be a huge eyeliner girl, um, but in the winter time, for whatever reason, I don't know what the reason is, I just, I like to wear eyeliner. I'm gonna take my Max Selena eyeliner, but you can use whatever eyeliner you please. I'm gonna line my top lid just a little bit. I'm just being very, very careful. I can't talk and do this, so I'm gonna speed through it. That's my winged eyeliner. Super simple, I don't really like go crazy with the wing. After that, I usually put on lashes, so I'm gonna pop some lashes on and I'll be right back. So my lashes are on and these are the Coco Lashes Queen Bee Lashes. And I love me some Coco Lashes, y'all. One, they're inexpensive, and number two, they're like so flirty and pretty and they just look really good on my eyes. I just recently bought like four more pair because these are on their last leg. I've worn these like maybe four times. I'm gonna take Chi Lip Pencil by ColourPop. This is my favorite nude, one of my favorite nude lip pencils. And ColourPop has the best lip pencils because they're super cheap and they have every color. And I'll go back with a lighter color. This is She Bad by ColourPop. And I'm just gonna fill in in the center just to give myself some definition to my lips. And this is my like go-to lip color. Yeah, that's pretty much it for my go-to look, you guys. Really, really simple. Don't really do too much else to it. Um, this is what works for me. This is what I like to do. Uh, so I hope that you guys learned something. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. I'll be sure to do more makeup tutorials for you guys um, in the new year. And Happy New Year to you guys. I love you guys. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video, okay?